Lee Duffy, born in 1965, Middlesbrough. Duffy had a hard upbringing. He was brought up in the South Banks area and was a victim to bullies not only on the streets but also at home. His father was an alcoholic who would regularly beat him. In 1977, Duffy joined his local boxing club and turned out to be a natural. He would go back around his neighborhood and beat up the gangs who used to bully him. In 1979, Duffy was sent to Borstal and gained a fearsome reputation through his violence. When he got out at 15, his mother sent him to live with his Uncle Rod. Duffy looked up to his uncle who was a well-known street fighter. Duffy returned to South Banks and was eager to get his hands dirty. He would go around nightclubs picking fights with doormen and make light work of them. Amongst the most seasoned criminals, Lee Duffy's name was grabbing their attention as an up-and-coming hard man. In 1983, Duffy began taxing people. He teamed up with a prostitute and together the pair would set up and rob her clients. Duffy would later be sent to jail for robbery. Whilst in jail, his violent streak continued. In 1985, he was released and got a job as a doorman at the Havana Club where he became friends with Stephen Sayers. The pair were on a night out in Newcastle when they were knocked back from a bar owned by Viv Graham. Duffy is said to have went on a rampage, knocking four of the doorman out. He told them to pass a message to Viv Graham it was on. Viv avoided the dispute and didn't want any drama Duffy would bring. Duffy was soon back in prison for an assault on Peter Wilson, a well-known kickboxer. It is believed Duffy hit him with so much force it broke his neck. His release was to be short-lived after Duffy got into a fight with two Leeds United fans, which resulted in one of the men losing an eyeball. On his final release from prison, he began a feud with Brian Cockerall. The pair would fight, but after the bloodshed, they became partners taxing drug dealers together. By this time, Duffy had made a list of enemies who wanted him dead. Three attempts were made on Duffy's life. On two occasions, he was shot at, and in the last attempt, David Tapping walked in the commercial pub and doused Duffy in petrol. He failed to set him alight, and Duffy beat him up, breaking his jaw. On August 25, 1991, outside the Afro-Caribbean Center, a fight broke out between Duffy and one of his rivals, David Allison. Duffy was beating Allison up, banging his head off the pavement. One of his friends threw David a knife, and he stabbed Duffy. The knife went through his armpit and hit a main artery. Duffy made it to a taxi but died on his way to the hospital at the age of 26. David Allison walked free from court as a judge ruled he acted in self-defense. In 